You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and today I have a brand new face for Greater Brockton. I have A.J. Jimenez. Did I say it right? That is correct. All right, A.J. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having me here. Um, college financial aid you got is it. one of the trickiest things in the world. Okay, I teach mm -hmm. at Massasoit Community <laughs> College. I talk to students all the time, mm -hmm. but if you look at something like the FAFSA form or the <laughs> hoops and the things you have to jump through to get your financial aid all in order, right. it's difficult. It is very difficult. <clears throat> and I would agree with you 110% because I was also a student at Massasoit. So I feel your pain. So <laughs> you know how to help people. I sure do. Okay. <clears throat> your group is called American Student Assistance. Yes, we are. And there have been different groups in Brockton over the years. I think mm -hmm. there was the Terry program at one point and, <laughs> and other folks. But you are doing an open house in yes. June. Mm -hmm. uh, school year is sort of coming to an end. There are people yeah, that of. go summer session mm -hmm. to colleges. But uh, if they're gearing up for the fall mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I don't know about deadlines. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I, I'm looking at this form. Right. Think about it. Most people go yeah. to mm -hmm. a tax preparer if they have complicated taxes. Right. So mm -hmm. I would liken your group to something like that to help with the FAFSA and whatever. Mm -hmm. Talk about the open house. We'll, we'll, yeah. We're going to do another segment and talk about the group in general. Mm -hmm. But tell us what you got an open house. It's, it's, it's your kickoff. Right, yeah. So um, on June 16th, so this is next Friday, so American Student Assistance, we are opening up our first open house to the community. So this is open for friends and families or anybody who just wants to come by from 1 to 4 o'clock. So from 1 to 4, if you stop by, this is a great way to learn about financial literacy, credit scores, budgeting, and much more. Um, we also will provide information on education. Um, if someone you know, doesn't have a high school diploma, we um, have information about HiSET, GED, and also we obviously have information on financial aid. <laughs> well, and, and now you guys are located over in what's called Barrister's Hall. I've never heard of okay. that before. Okay. Way back in the day. Back in the day. Before even Before my me, time. <laughs> even before me. I'm older than you. It was a Sears way back when. Really? Belmont and Maine. It's the corner of Belmont and Maine. Okay. But you, you know how they say up in Maine you can't get there from here? You can only <laughs> go up... Belmont, yes, or you can come down Maine, yep. and there's parking on a Friday afternoon between one and four. You got to go to the parking garage, probably in all nope. likelihood, because the court is there. Mm -hmm. So you, you, everybody's fighting for for spaces. You might have right. a few spaces, right? Oh, we have a huge parking lot. Okay, so if you plug in 27 Belmont Street and okay. your GPS, okay. it will bring you right to our front door. Okay, and there's a big parking lot there, so um, parking is there. And it's not an hour parking, so don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. So you can park in our parking lot and um, come into our um, building. Okay. Um, we, we're also on 231 Main Street. So, you know, that's where our building is. But right. 27 Belmont Street, you plug that into your GPS, and it'll bring you right to our front door. Okay, and it says it right on your flyer. Right on the flyer. Plus, there's actually a good old-fashioned phone number there on sure your flyer. Is. So tell us about the <laughs> phone number that you have there. Yeah. So if you just give us a call at 508 586-3100, option three. Um, the program assistant will answer the phone, and if you have any questions or any kind of confusion about where we are, we will definitely guide you the entire way. Besides the open house, mm -hmm. besides getting all the good information, you probably have cookies Listen, or something. I, I can't give away all of our secrets. Okay, but it but says refreshments. Refreshments will be available, Okay, and there's actually a better incentive than just that. Mm -hmm. For the first 20 guests, I believe it's either 10 or 20, the first 20 guests who fill out an intake, they receive a $10 or, I believe, $20 gift card to Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know about you, but I love coffee. And it's right around the corner. It's from right around the are, corner. So we can't, can't, walk can't, together. Can, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so um, tell us what a little bit what people need to know mm -hmm. to, to get them in the door. Um, right. Again, I personally think it's complicated. I mm -hmm. teach. I'm not right. a financial aid counselor or anything mm -hmm. like that. One of the biggest things I get from my students all the mm -hmm. time is, we got this problem with financial aid, we got right. that problem with financial aid. The people in our financial aid office are nice people and they're yeah. going to help you. Mm -hmm. But this is before you even get there. You, right. you want to get the house in order, right? Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. So um, basically, uh, you know, a good piece of information that I can give freely is this. Listen, if you are struggling with kind of education access or college access, come down to our center and speak to an education advisor like myself and anybody else in, in our um, building. 
we are trained and we specialize in this kind of you know area of financial aid and um, financial literacy and much much more academic advising and counseling and I understand that we're gonna have another segment that we can dive more specifically into that mm -hmm. but just to be more broad and very just generic is listen we all know what financial aid is FAFSA right. you know the daunting process of <laughs> and now it is even a little more complicated in my mm. opinion because it's all online. It's, it's, yes. it's, it used to be a paper form. You used to be able to mm -hmm. do that. And, oh, gee, it's a typo. I made a mistake. Right. The online stuff mm -hmm. is easier, but it's harder. People yeah. don't realize that. Like right. we go digital TV and analog <laughs> used to be easier to deal with as well. So what got you into doing this? Just out of curiosity. So um, I just have a passion of being an advocate for education. Um, I truly believe that education leads to empowerment of yourself and it really helps you develop socially, personally, and financially of, get, of getting a, um, you know, furthering your education. Well, I mean, y you went to school. What did you go to school for, just out of yes. curiosity? So you guys are all going to laugh at me. I went to school for social work. Okay. So <laughs> well, uh, that's technically still social work. You're helping people. I'm helping people. Right? So I'm a big helper. Okay, social work. Uh, mm -hmm. my, my dad started out as a social worker. Okay. Then he became a parole officer. <laughs> <laughs> a parole director, and he was a teacher too at awesome. Stonehill in Massasoit. Great, but social—you're you're helping people no helping matter people. what, and mm -hmm. and um, it doesn't cost. There's not a cost no. to it. There's no cost associated with our services at all. Okay, it's important to note we are a nonprofit. We're also a federal trio program. We'll speak more about the federal trio program mm -hmm. um, on our next segment, but it's important to highlight that. No money down, no nothing, and walk-ins are always welcome. We are open Monday through Friday from 8.30 in the morning to 5. Okay, mm -hmm. and also you mentioned before, and it's something that's newer to me because I'm an old dog. <laughs> GED was what it's called. Now it's mm -hmm. the high, high set, set mm -hmm. which is the equivalent of the GED with yeah. a different name. It's like <laughs> you got the MCAS, you got core, Common mm -hmm. Core. People, Unless you're in the education industry in some way, <laughs> You, you, you just don't get it. We have acronyms so, for everything. Yeah, I know. A wall of acronyms. <laughs> we can put them all up on the wall. So I think I got the two-minute cue, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Anything you want to do to just pitch it, sell it, get them to come. Just Great. look in the camera <clears> and tell them. <throat> all right. So hello, everybody. Um, as I told you guys all, my name is AJ Jimenez. I'm the Education Advisor for American Student Assistance. Next Friday is a great opportunity for you to meet me specifically on a one-on-one -on -one setting and... If you want, I'll walk you specifically to Dunkin' Donuts if you fill an intake, and then we can learn more about each other. So I hope to see you all next Friday from 1 to 4. Thank you very much. Perfect. So <laughs> just to reiterate, Open House, American Student Assistance, June 16th, mm -hmm. 1 to 4. Put in on your GPS 27 Belmont Street so you can find a good parking spot. <laughs> if you want to get in touch with them ahead of time, 508-586-3100, mm -hmm. option, option 3. Mm -hmm. And I'll bring him back and we'll talk specifics. <laughs> Thank you Good so to much. See you. Good to see you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.